Hey, chiropractors, welcome to Modern Chiropractic Mastery with your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, where we discuss the latest in marketing, business, and professional growth with some of the leading experts in the industry. Hey, docs, welcome to another episode of Modern Chiropractic Mastery. This is your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, and today I'm bringing you a solo episode, and we're going to think outside the box a little bit as far as uh, maybe the team members you consider um, as you're growing your practice early on. Now, I've written about it, and I still believe um, the core team of a practice would be obviously you, the chiropractor, and then a front desk, a rock star front desk, and then a CA, and then you can layer on there. Now, you could replace the CA position if you have a very well-developed preceptor program that's consistent uh, like we have in our uh private practice here. Um, and I, f I still believe that's a core team. And then you kind of layer on that as you grow. But uh, what I'm finding is some, some docs are, are thinking outside the box a little bit, and we're working with some of our clients on different ideas of, okay, you know, you've started your practice, uh, revenue's tight. Uh, you know, there's not a ton of money to, to hire, but you like to do rehab or uh, laser or shockwave, or, you know, there's aspects of your treatment that take time and it's outside of, say, your adjustment and manual therapy, and you could use some help. And uh, we're going to talk about a few different um, types of positions today. And one we've really been talking a lot about is this uh, kind of Swiss Army CA. And this is a person that would function as your um, you know, patient care CA, help you out with subjective notes and rehab exercises and laser, whatever you may be doing um, that's outside of the you know, manipulation, soft tissue, and they can really help you out with the clinical care, but then they also could help you out with front desk activities and, and kind of play a dual role there because a lot of you are in a situation where you can't really afford both. Like you need a front desk and you need someone to help you out with patient care um, so that you can see a, a, an efficient amount of people to generate enough revenue and enough profits to to build a, a healthy practice. And a lot of you run into this ceiling of complexity that happens where you start to get busy and your schedule's busy, but they're, you're spending too much time with the patient, even though you know you'd like to delegate it, but you can't really afford to bring on the CA because you're paying a full-time front desk. And this could be a potential solution for you. Now, I'm not saying going out and run and do this right now. I just want you, like my goal of this episode um, is to start having you think about it. Like when we talk to our clients about this, we have to know all the different factors and make sure it's an accurate decision to make. So I don't know that for you, but I just want you to start thinking about what that would look like, right? Because I, I know a chiropractic practice that has a really busy practice and they've got multiple team members and they actually don't have a delineated front desk. It's kind of like a floating uh, position, like someone is available to, to, to operate that part of it. Um, so I do know that. Uh, I do know chiropractic practices that have a virtual front desk. There's nobody at the front desk. It's just them and maybe a CA. I think a Swiss Army CA would be a great opportunity to have that customer experience at the front, but also have some clinical help for you on that aspect of it. And, you know, so what would a Swiss Army CA do, right? Again, on the clinical side, I think they can take your patients back and manage the flow of patients. I think they can do the subjective notes when available. Definitely could do the rehab exercises. Some of you don't think they can, but you can definitely train a good qualified person in doing that. Uh, they, they could do your electrical stims and your shock waves and, and lasers if you have that. And then when they're not doing that, they're at the front and they're acting as the front desk and they're answering the phone and they're checking people out. If they're done with the rehab exercises and it's time to check that patient out, they go right to the front and do that. And then they ultimately can service much of the front desk and to a point and in my opinion, the goal would be is you would run with this team until you get busy and profitable enough where you can reinvest in the practice and then probably hire a delineated front desk person. And in that Swiss Army CA becomes more of just your true CA. So I do believe um, that would be a good progression for you as the finances allow for it, as your practice uh, grows in that. So that's the kind of the Swiss Army uh, CA aspect. 
Let's take a break from today's episode and announce our first sponsor. This is going to be Propel Marketing and Design. I've known Darcy Sullivan for years. We've worked hand in hand on my websites. I don't trust anybody else uh, to do this search engine optimization. She does a great job. There's there's so much to it. A lot of a lot of the lingo and the words are beyond my uh, comprehension, but it's just amazing work that she does. And if you're really going to get results with Google, you have to make sure your website is SEO optimized. And I really don't want you doing it yourself as a chiropractor. So I, you, you just have to have this type of stuff done. And if you're looking to get more organic online traffic that pulls in new patients, Propel Marketing and Design is currently offering chiropractors who listen to this podcast a free SEO website review. The free review will help you uncover methods that will improve your website and boost your search engine visibility. Head over to propelyourcompany.com slash chiropractor and schedule your free SEO website review. You won't regret it. She gets great results. Your website needs this. Your search results need this. Head on over there to propelyourcompany.com slash chiropractor to get your free SEO website review. Hey there, chiropractors. Are you tired of feeling like your dream practice is just out of reach? I know how frustrating it can be trying to balance patient care, paperwork, and billing while striving for that ideal practice you've always envisioned. But guess what? There's a solution that can make your dream a reality. Introducing Genesis Chiropractic Software, the key to unlocking your dream practice. Picture this, no more drowning in paperwork, no more scheduling headaches, and no more billing nightmares. With Genesis, you'll have everything you need to streamline your practice and focus on what truly matters providing exceptional care to your patients. Imagine a practice where every patient interaction is seamless, every appointment is perfectly scheduled, and every billing process is smooth as silk. That's the power of Genesis. Ready to turn your dream practice into a reality? Schedule your consultation with Genesis today and take the first step towards practice success. Don't let the challenges of running a practice hold you back. With Genesis, your dream practice is within reach. Visit www.genesischiropracticsoftware.com forward slash MCM to get started. Trust me, you won't regret it. Genesis Chiropractic Software, because every practice owner deserves to achieve their dreams. Another thing you could consider doing is rolling with this um, CA, this Swiss Army CA for a good period of time, and then you could have a virtual front desk offering, right? And we've had uh, Pablo uh, from Avimed on our podcast uh, a couple months ago, a few months ago on this, and it's a really well-developed virtual front desk. You can you can actually go to our website, modernchiropracticmarketing.com, because I'm, uh, full disclosure, kind of advising them on this, what that would look like. And there's a tab on it, and you can you can reach out to them on that. But um, you could, and there's other options as well for, for virtual um, front desk, but you could have someone that is handling you know, billing and, you know, in this situation, if you're in network insurance, you might want to have billing outsourced to somebody. Uh, so maybe not the virtual front desk, but maybe a billing company, right? So like in our practice, we, we outsource our billing. So I think that would be a good option for you. Um, if you're talking about insurance verifications and then pre-authorizations and just all the other tasks that a front desk person does, uh, some of that your Swiss Army CA could do during downtime if that's a lot, uh, there, if there's enough downtime. Um, or again, a virtual front desk could do that. The virtual front desk could definitely answer the phone. So between having online scheduling, like very robust, really clear online scheduling and virtual front desk, you don't have to worry about the the phone, the people calling and scheduling. That's taken care of it for you. So now you're uh, Swiss Army CA can really function on the clinical side and uh, checking that patient out and, and, and ultimately giving them a good experience there. And, and I think that could be a really good combo. And then uh, at a certain point, again, when, when the demand is there and the profit margin is there, you could then grow into that core team. Again, just to reiterate, what I feel is that core team of a chiropractic practice is the chiropractor, is the front desk, is the CA, those three. And then you build around there. You know, maybe you're adding an associate to there. Maybe you're adding preceptors to that. Um, Maybe a a second CA. And then you get big enough, you might even have an office manager, right? 
Let's take a short break for one of our great sponsors, TrackStat. It is a new type of software plugin for your EHR that combines patient communication, marketing, automation, and statistics with patient and employee tracking. Built by chiropractors for chiropractors, it shows your team what to focus on each day. See patient visit habits, missing information, unpaid bills, insurance collection visit average, and more. Great visibility of data so you can focus on filling your office with your best patients. When you can see what your staff and patients are doing or not doing and take action accordingly, your profits naturally grow. Take TrackStat for a test drive in your office with our free trial. Not a techie, no problem, we can help. To get started on your free trial, visit trackstat.org and watch the demo. That is trackstat.org. And I think that's um, how you would grow uh, accordingly with that. Now, the other thing that, uh, another unique position that I've been really kind of chewing on over the last year, and I'll even tell you what we did, our practice, is like, I would love to have the, kind of the need, and, and to be frank, um, the extra profit margin. You know, we have the, we have profit margin in our practice and, it, and it's going really good with it. Um, this would be kind of a luxury position, or if you just really were humming along and you saw the value and it could make sense. Um, and that would be a patient experience coordinator. I could see in this scenario where you've got a full-time front desk person, you've got uh, multiple doctors, you've got some CAs, and then instead of hiring a second front desk, you hire this patient experience coordinator, and then they have some redundancy and and understand the front desk, and then can you know obviously fill in as needed or you know help out the front desk. But this patient experience coordinator, I look at as someone that's their job is to make sure that the patient experience is just world-class, right? Like things uh, like could be, you know, office tours and it could be getting them signed up on an app that you have. It could be, you know, getting the birthday list for that day and actually texting them through your two-way texting service. It could be them monitoring your, some of your patient communication tools like a, uh, tracks that or, uh, you know, review wave or, or, you know, patient driven care. There's a lot of great apps out there and services and softwares. It could be managing some of the community outreach thing you're doing, uh, to, to do that. Um, and, and, you know, it could be even like, okay, you wrote the, the patient a script for an MRI following up with that patient. How was, how was your MRI experience? Did you everything get done? You sent that patient out for an ortho visit or, you find out one of your patients' uh, husbands is having husband is having surgery. Calling them, and say, oh, I just want to check on how your husband's doing after the surgery. Like just like going above and beyond, like thinking so outside the box. It's almost like that, um, you know, that just extreme ownership of your practice, and then offering a hospitality level that's just world class. Uh, that's what I look at as this uh, is this patient experience coordinator would be amazing to do. And so what I want you to do is like, what would your dream patient experience coordinator do in your practice? And that's what we did. And then what we did was we wrote it down and we have a daily checklist and we have a, a weekly checklist, right? Like on a daily checklist is review requests. Like what patients on our schedule today, we, should we ask directly for a, a Google review, right? So we wrote out this position as if we were hiring it and we put together a weekly and daily task list. And then for us, what we've done in our practice, again, it's, we have, um, we have two doctors, myself and Dr. Gage, uh, we've got uh, a front desk full time, and then we have anywhere from one to two preceptors, usually two at a time. Um, and then sometimes one, or there's like some gaps in that, but we said, okay, um, let's, let's have the preceptors tackle this position. And then with the help of our front desk, and then some of it's for the doctor, like we do. Uh, we use an app called Bonjoro, which I've mentioned before on our phone. It allows us to record a quick little video welcoming the patient, and then it sends it to their email. But it's in, the video is embedded into the email, so when they open the email, they click the link, and it, it's like the thumbnail, and it's a video. So it's not just like a downloaded video. So it's got a good user experience on that. And so the day after the new patient exam, the doctor, the treating doctor, shoots a quick Bonjoro video and sends that to the patient. So there's some things on here that the doctor does as well, but we put together a nice list and that becomes our, our patient experience coordinator. 
um, as far as what it would look like. And then we just have um, our preceptors and front desk and, and doctors uh, do certain tasks on that. And we've delineated which is which for, for each. And so coming back to that Swiss Army CA, if you got a, like a killer rock star and you actually paid them well. So like, again, let's, let's play this out conceptually. Um, you know, you're going to hire someone that's uh, got a good, you know, they got a high capacity, like they can learn, they got a good personality. Like there's their quality, right? And, and maybe you're paying them $25 an hour. That's, I know that might sound a lot for you, but let's just say you're doing that because you're going to get real quality person. And that person is going to kind of wear three hats. Uh, they're going to be a Swiss army CA. And I think it could really roll into three things. One is again, your clinical care CA. Two would be front desk activities and tasks and patient checkout. And three could be this patient experience coordinator, you know, and they're working full-time job, you know, maybe 38, 40 hours a week. And there's going to be some downtime. And when there's some downtime, they're doing things like sending thank you letters to patients or what, what have you, right? Like you, you tease this out well and plan it out well to where, okay, uh, first order of business is, is you know, patient experience when they're in the, in the uh, office and you greet them and then you're going to take care of the clinical side of things. And when you don't have uh, the clinical side of things, you're going to handle some of the front desk checkout stuff. And then when there's neither of that to do, um, we're going to uh, look at our patient experience weekly and daily checklist and do some of that. And I think that would really make a great Swiss Army CA in your practice. Again, just to kind of reiterate that, one is the clinical role they would have, two is the front desk role they would have, and three is the patient experience coordinator role they would have, all bundled into one. If you needed to really uh, handle uh, billing, you would outsource your billing. If you wanted, you know, the phone's ringing off the hook and you got a lot of different things to do uh, as far as insurance verifications and all that, all the stuff that we know a front desk has to do, um, you could then consider layering on a part-time or full-time virtual front desk to handle that. And, and then that could build you a unique team that you could get very profitable with and then to start maybe building out a little bit more of your traditional team um, as you grow. And maybe you don't. Maybe you love this model and you just layer on a second Swiss Army CA, right? Uh, that's something to consider as as well. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Short and sweet today. Uh, really been in our coaching programs uh, with Dr. Kurt Kippenberger and Dr. Ashley Jordan and myself. As coaches, we've been working with a few of our clients on this Swiss Army CA to bridge that gap early on in practice. And so we've been teasing this out and the details of it. Wanted to shoot a quick little uh, podcast episode for you on the idea and just get yourself thinking. And if you feel like you need some help on this um, and you could use a little bit of coaching, uh, just go to our website, modernchiropracticmarketing.com, and you'll find all kinds of great information on there and our different programs. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you want to make the shift from busy, broke, and broken to time-free and cash-confident, or you just want to continue with the exponential growth, check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com. Look at the MCM Mastery tab, watch the short video on there, and check out what we are doing now for evidence-informed chiropractors. We are equal parts coaching and marketing done for you. Yes, you shoot some videos. We help you with campaign strategies and ideas and really become a thought leader in your community. You shoot those videos, you send them to us. We produce, edit, and brand them to you. Then we distribute them through all of your channels. We also take them and we turn it into one good blog per month. And every other month, we have Darcy Sullivan producing a robust blog with a topic that you pick from her database to help with your SEO. So we essentially become your content marketing agency to make sure your practice is always having ethical, elegant content marketing to help grow your practice. On the coaching side, we also help you with everything from marketing ideas to business, communications, finances, anything practice growth and really try to help prevent you from being stuck on that island. And we hold you accountable. We have a great group of doctors that are just doing amazing things. And we look forward to help you out to take that next step in your practice. So again, check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com and learn more.